Today we're going on a field trip to a familiar location, and while the house may seem familiar, everything has changed. Let's go. What's up, Coral people? If you're new here, my name is Remy, and this is the Bahama Lama Coral YouTube channel. I post a couple videos a week now on this channel, so if you could, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know when I post new videos. At the beginning of 2021, I set a bunch of goals for myself when it comes to this channel and to you know what I wanna do in this hobby as far as new tanks go, displays, that kind of thing, clownfish breeding, all that was a part of my goals for 2021. But I wanna know, have you started on any of your goals in 2021? Did you make any goals? Leave a comment down below. Today we are headed to my buddy Ben's house. We've seen his tank and system evolve a lot over the past year. From his tank lit with only $100 lights to the beautiful L-shaped Euphilia Garden and Clownfish Harem tank. And now the beginnings of a small business have formed. I won't waste any more time up front here, so let's head on over to Ben's house and see what's going on. A few moments later. Everything is different, once again. <laughs> so for those of you that were with us last time and have seen this tank, this whole entire tank was a Euphilia garden, and it is now just kind of looks like scattered frags here and there. Yeah, just really a bunch of stuff that either got kind of in between that time or it was in the back tank and I brought it up. Actually, all that stuff's gonna be gone shortly. Uh, really just kind of want to consolidate and get rid of it, but yeah, it's different, that's for sure. Harem tank is doing okay? It's doing okay. Um, you'll see in a second, uh, I don't know, like five or six days ago, there was probably 40 plus anemones in there and uh, took quite a bit out. Clownfish are doing okay. Had uh, had some suicide jumpers, unfortunately. Oh no! Look at this <laughs> beauty right here. That oh, guy. Sunburst. Is this a Chicago sunburst? Yeah. So that is one of the couple of Chicago sunbursts I have. Um, they say they have stages. Is this one next to it also the same thing? Yes. Oh, so this is the stage you're talking about. Okay. So that I believe is referred to as what they call the lemon drop. Um, from what I've experienced. That is the first stage of a Chicago sunburst. Um, that one you looked at at the beginning is the second stage, kind of like the flame tip, but there's just so many names now. Uh, the third stage is where it actually gets the green streaks up the tentacles, which I had one that was about halfway up the tentacles, but it's split into four, which is sitting in that basket. Gotcha. Um, so it kind of lost that color and went back down to that like middle stage, so. Well, let's uh, let's go see what's behind this curtain over here. Yeah, see so you got brewing up over here. Okay, so this tank last time was a frag tank, and now it appears to be the clownfish start breed. of a clownfish breeding program. <laughs> yeah, so you'll kind of understand more here in a second on what's going on, but yeah, definitely once again changing it up completely, always with that end game in uh, in mind. But uh, yeah. These are some pairs that I'm, you know, some are definitely ready to spawn, some are definitely not. Uh, so that last pair is kind of a cool combo. That's what apparently they're doing. Where is it in Bali, I believe? Is that new clownfish they're coming out with with no name or anything yet? Kind of looks like a Dalmatian. But these guys are all fairly big. It looks like they're about ready to go. Like they would be ready to, and you said you've seen some of these guys like cleaning the pot and doing runs and everything. Oh yeah, so those are those are the ones that should be going real quick. Uh, the black ice clownfish, but yeah, they are all over that pot cleaning it constantly. I can't believe I haven't had anything yet. Uh, and then that middle section are your snow onyxes, and that female constantly is making runs and doing that little like twitch but just hasn't hasn't gone yet and a couple different frag racks around the tank you know like i said earlier it's all stuff i'm consolidating and getting rid of uh, it's so crazy how they can go from like a like a lime lemon lime to 
to just the brightest orange you've ever seen. Right? It's like almost, they almost like revert back. Because they go from that lemon line to that big guy you're kind of staring at to the right. Yeah. And then if you look in the basket, you can see the lemon lime and that orange kind yeah, of right. This one on top here has, this one definitely has that, that lemon lime up top. Yeah, so it's like they lose it, get it back, and then kind of like stretch their patterns. It's kind of cool to watch. There's a lot of great candy in here. Yeah, it's gonna be sad to see some of them go, but you'll see why, it's time. Yeah, speaking of that, not that I don't want to spend more time here, but let's go to uh, the farm or the beginnings of the farm. Yes. Yeah, so this a couple videos ago, we kind of talked about doing it out in the garage and everything, but started thinking like cost wise and really getting the kind of like the HVAC system and everything in there. That ain't going to go. So this is kind of plan B. Wow. Um, <laughs> okay kind of sick of waiting uh so i just went for it you know um so yeah this is this is the beginning so you could still fit a bed in here if someone wanted to sleep in here i guess yeah blaine blaine's gonna sleep probably right here on a cot we kind of already joked about It'd be that. a good guest bedroom right for the fish lover in your family <laughs> <laughs> so this is a pvc marine pvc tank from a local gentleman here in st louis awesome tanks um and the sump below but in here we've kind of got the anemone grow out propagation, growing out some clowns, some more clowns. Um, yes, yeah, so this tank will be all NEMS, nothing else. No power heads, no nothing. Sick of getting shredded NEMS, but those are Black Widows. Quite a, quite a few nice little babies in there. What were the, uh, and that's a, that's a long fin. So that's a white Wyoming long fin. Um, all these fish you're seeing here today are all from, except one is from Sustainable Aquatics. Uh, I just love them. They're great people. Amy over there once again, same people I got the heron uh, clownfish from. Yeah. Uh, just amazing. I've actually got a really nice, uh, I only think like three or four of them have been sold coming in this week. And we'll, uh, we'll touch base when we do another video on what I got. And then you've got another like side tank down here. What are these guys? So that is a, another, I don't know if it's Gladiator. I'm pretty sure it's just a Vinci. Uh, and then the little guy who I think is my gem is a Sequest Black Snow Onyx Da Vinci. So he's got a puzzle piece in the middle of yeah, it. Right? On the other side, if you flip around. So this is a relatively new setup here. And these are just old, what are these, uh, old soles? They're dull soles, one of my favorite lights. If you're doing just a NEM tank, I highly recommend them. They just give great color. Yeah, if you can still find them. Yeah, that's true too. I don't, they don't even make anything for them anymore. I think the controller is the hardest thing to find for it. Yeah. But, so those lights are there. And what our plan is with these tanks over here is, uh, so this is gonna be kind of a breeding grow out system. And then definitely 90% of it's gonna be all macros. It's kind of why we got the big old trigger refugium sump down there. Wow, that's awesome. And you use Fritz on everything. Oh yeah. And then CJ pumps and all that. CJ pumps, Fritz salt. I mean, you can't, how can you go wrong with Fritz salt? I know some people are like, oh, it makes the bucket dirty. You should clean your bucket after every water change anyway. <laughs> I uh, feel like every single salt has their thing. Yes, exactly. But you can't beat that. And then the CJ pumps on this tank right now, um, I don't have a pump for that tank yet. I'm looking into which CJ I want to get, basically. Uh, but I love it. I mean, great pumps. I love how you can, because that pump in there, usually you have to sit it straight up and down. You can take that whole pump 90 degrees, and I sank it down like another half inch so the water level and everything fit. I thought that was awesome. So NEMS, clowns, and macros. Yeah, that's what we'll be specializing in, definitely. Um, just our passions, you know. I think, it's, I think it's time. I honestly think that there's a big hole in the market when it comes to like macros and, and uh, NEMS. It'd be interesting to see how the clownfish thing progresses. Um, Correct, because I know you're doing a little thing on some clownfish <laughs> at home too. I am, <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, it would be interesting to see how that all goes when it, when it does happen, but I've got the rotifers going, I've got all that, you know, 
up and running right now and we're just uh, waiting. Seems like you're doing the same thing. Yep, just waiting. <laughs> Got the rotifers basically we're right where you're at. So this makes it a lot more convenient that you're in this space as opposed to the garage that we saw last time. Uh, this, I, I think that keeping everything together is, is a huge help when it comes to uh, reefing and making that convenient. Correct. And to even make that more convenient, don't tell the wife yet. <laughs> um, but this wall we're sitting here is the back side of the other room and there's uh -huh. definitely, I'm cutting a big hole out of it. Oh, uh, that's a good idea. Water. Okay. So I can put a water change station there and yeah. I have to walk around and... That's a really good idea. It'll be nice. Are you selling anything right now? Yeah. So just I mean, kind of here and there, just trying to get started? Yeah, just getting started. Got a couple things going here or there. You can message me. Uh, we can definitely talk. Um, not only the NEMS, obviously all that stuff earlier. A uh, couple sunbursts are ready to go. Pretty much a couple of everything. So, yeah, just let me know. Sounds good, man. Well, I appreciate the tour. Absolutely. Everything has changed, and I'm sure next time everything will change again. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I can't wait. I want to come back and see all this stuff. I know. It was supposed to be up. I, uh, they didn't have two... Two ball valves, so I'm waiting on another delivery on Tuesday, and I will probably have it up by next weekend. I love it. All right, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, man. Have a good one. I got to say, I'm so excited to see how this whole thing progresses. If you saw anything that you liked from the video, remember there's not a website yet. This is just the beginnings of something. So uh, you can reach out to him at Ben's Nems on Instagram. To me, there's nothing more motivating than being with other people in the hobby and seeing how motivated and how driven they are. And Ben is definitely that. Hey, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you know whenever I post new videos. And make sure to join me this week with a new segment called Five Minute Friday. I started it a couple weeks ago. It's still fresh, it's still evolving, but please, uh, now videos on Fridays as well. And speaking of farms, I have been watching closely everything that's been going on at OSA lately. Scott Crow and the crew are coming with some heat very, very soon. And it seems like they're on the brink of a launch where you will be able to purchase corals on their website. Very excited for this. Now that frag swaps have kind of started to come back online, we're talking about conventions, maybe Aquashella in June. I've kind of been pestering Sean from Fritz Aquatics about that. I'm like, are we good to go? Are we in the clear? And so far, so good. I'm also gonna start frag swap videos for our swap in April, which we've got a great lineup of vendors. So if you are thinking about coming and you're in the St. Louis area or within driving distance, please let me know, I'd love to meet you. I'm gonna be getting rid of a lot of pieces as we start the next iteration of what's going on back here. In the meantime, go grab yourself some coffee or something. We just got a new Nespresso Breville machine. It's like a little one. Just does shots of espresso. It's so good. So good. Oh yeah. Like why even worry about the coffee anymore when you can just go straight for espresso. Concentrated. Caffeine to the veins. Ah. Ah. Just feel real good about it. Stay safe and uh, I'll see you next week or on Friday whenever we meet again.